hello everyone welcome in my channel asp.net core today i'm going to show you how to customize uh, identity uh, you can say customize identity in asp.net core 2.2 uh, there is updated version of uh, uh, customization of identity you can scaffolding your identity with the uh, minimal uh, one page uh, CSS HTML file so uh, just uh, in application uh, DB context uh, you know that identity DB context uh, application DB context is inherently with the identity DB context and in the model you can add application user class uh, application user class is inherited with the identity user uh, actually application user with the identity user because uh, in this example uh, I have to use identity server okay so public string first name and last name there is the modification need uh, to customize identity there is enough and after that you can add this thing in the uh, identity actually so right click on it and a scaffolding identity where you are override all these files select context class and now after that you can notice that all uh, identity files exist in the areas there is the readme file to learn for better understanding the identity here we have identity and under the identity we have pages and account and manages but i i want to need register.cshtml file and there is the code behind file uh, actually uh, identity is based on the single page model so in the startup.cs file must to add these file again uh, if you uh, if you want to uh, modify or customize identity the name of the class where your data exists that is application user class so just add identity core with the application user class add role that is identity role and user uh, principal uh, claim factory uh, that is application user now after that you can modify your register.cshtml file with the application user class so must to add both of these file identity user as well as the application user in the startup.cs file the default identity is the identity user but if you want to customize your identity then manually add to your services or you can say register services application user class in the register.cs html file now in identity db context you can add application user class okay that's fine it's pretty simple now after that uh, make some changes in the register.cs html file so just open areas uh, before uh, doing this must to add migration add migration and the migration name is in it that is build failed oops now right click on it and rebuild the package where your error got uh, occurs oops now ident uh, in the register.cs html file dot cs file you can make some changes in the on post async method that is uh, replace the identity user with the application user class okay that's fine now after that you can build your project and uh, migration enable migration add migration in it yeah update uh, database you can check your database actually table is created or not either table is created or not okay and uh, after that you can make some changes in register.cs html file to add first name and the last name uh, or you can say add input boxes uh, in the cshtml file for the first name and the last name okay 
areas register.css stimul file here your on post is created application user class where first name is input dot input model dot sorry input dot first name oops it's not there because uh, in the in, uh, input first name is not uh, not declared in the uh, view model class so just input dot there is not available here so just add it the first name and the last name in the uh, view model class here is input model so prop int string first name and the uh, prop string last name now you can add both the string values that is the similar with the application user now you can add it here in the po own post async when we submit the first name and the last name then add that name in the database table so first name dot input dot first name and the last name equals to input dot last name now add it register.css html file with the input controls just copy that and paste it here for the two times and replace the email with the first name and uh, also email with the last name in the second division now your code is ready to play save this thing and run your IS identity test thank you very much for uh, watching this video and keep watching all other video which is related to ASP.NET Core don't forget uh, to subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel if you uh, like this video and uh, if you want to uh, get many other projects related videos then please subscribe my channel please 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 I request you please subscribe my channel thank you very much for watching this video